All right, so we're coming to the end of season one. Yes. So what is going on with the werewolves? The werewolves. Uh, right now, the werewolves. We've, we've kind of wrapped everything up at uh, the old Jade Wolf. Um, we're all we're all feeling good about the, the next season. Um, we're probably gonna do some renovations. So uh, I can tell you some of the stuff that's in the wall. Where's the budget coming from? <laughs> some of those drink prices are gonna raise a little bit. They're not gonna be so cheap. But um, yeah, I think the werewolves are fine. I think um, we'll have to see where they go from here. But as we leave them at this point, at this point in time, we're pretty good. And uh, we're all hoping that Jocelyn wakes up. Ed, do you think you're going to wake Jocelyn up? You know, I would like to know myself. Uh, we're, we, we, we shot about six endings, and we'll, and we'll figure out which one we do. Yeah. Will we find out in the finale, then, if she wakes up or not? We I will, did we, see that not Luke, but Isaiah, the human being, was talking to Maxine Roy. Maybe they had a special plan <laughs> in regard to what their characters do. And there might be a, a mutiny of sorts against Ed, against me, so they can walk their own path. What we will find out is that we will find out. <laughs> Who, no, who can be happy with that? That level of vagar. Come on, Ed, spill the beans. So you're going to tell us all of the, the spoilers for season two? For season two, all the spoilers. Yeah. I, I will say that relationships get really strained in in uh, season two. I mean, now that Clary and Jace are brother and sister, that causes a lot of problems That's with the we love think, story. You know, now Simon might get in there. Yeah. You never know. We're hoping. We've got a new sort of first of wind in his sails. Us downworlders are hoping that, that Simon gets in there. So. So you are following the books pretty closely. Has there been anything that you've enjoyed taking out of the books and putting in the show? And has there been anything you've enjoyed taking creative license on outside of the books? Well, one of the things we enjoyed taking creative license on was building up the tension to the big wedding episode that's upcoming next week. So we added a character, Lydia Branwell, who helped to uh, cause a big, you know, difficulty, a big obstacle. Uh, for Alec. So let's see what happens. Again. Yeah, what? Yeah. Sit at least. Yeah. <laughs> Only they were just a little more fun. <laughs> Who's your favorite character in the show? Right. Chase. <laughs> wow. Chase. Luke. Nice. I know Luke is in front of me too. You know the British accent is fake. I read the book. Speaks. I read the book. <laughs> you read the book? Yeah. So from the books, it would be Chase. That is Luke. Thank you so much. We were, one of the things that we changed from the books, you know, Jace has golden eyes in the book. And uh, so we were going to figure out a way to do golden eyes. And then we got we cast an actor who's got two different color eyes. And then everybody was like, yeah, let's go with good. that. We can't let's hide do with that. that. <laughs> so is there something that we can look forward to in season two that you enjoy putting into the show that you want fans to pay attention to? Uh, I think uh, in season two... Uh, I think you, you're going to pay attention to what happens with uh, Valentine and Jason Clary. That's going to be a, a very interesting little triangle there of, of people. And speaking of your connection to Jace, I mean, Jace is going to wonder to what degree is darkness inside of him, considering those moments. It's fun for a character to explore. You didn't mention Jocelyn in there. Oh, it's not well, safe to mention Jocelyn. Yeah. <laughs> Put it yeah, this, it's not safe to mention. Exactly. But put it put it this way, uh, uh, Jocelyn's Jocelyn is important in season two. Just as she was important in season two. Yeah. Now you've talked about Clary, Jace, and Valentine. What about the other characters? Simon, Uh well, uh Simon's Simon's Simon's, Simon's got a chance now. He's got Simon has a chance. Uh, Clary cannot be with Jace, as we know. So that's a that's a lot to look forward to with Simon. And then of course, uh, if you know, we have a lot to look forward to with Emma too. She she has a let's put it this way, she has a big love story coming up in season two and three. Yeah. So what will Luke be doing in season two? Well, um, he's now going to a barbecue restaurant uh, instead of a Chinese uh, store, uh, restaurant. So we'll switch it up a little bit. We're going southern, um, not Kansas City, but it's Mississippi. A little more spicy this time. I see. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, he's now the leader of the pack, so yeah. there's uh, more action. And he's well, and he's also very, very interested to see whether or not Jocelyn wakes up. That's a big thing for him. But something also to discuss is that look, the books are out there in front of us. You read the books, but at the same time, we just found out about season two. It's a very exciting moment of creativity for Ed Dector, and then he gets to marinate on, okay, 
what do we want to explore? What do we want to go deeper with? It's not like all the scripts for season two are baked into the stone. Ed's cooking it up as we speak. The fandom is an intimate part of that. The books are obviously a huge part of that. And it's just exciting to be asked questions about, hey, Ed, what's going on in season two? And know that you're figuring that out right now, like all good creators do. And here's a spoiler alert. McGee is going to be back with the show directing some episodes. Wow. Wowzer. I thought we were trying to improve the show. <laughs> so going into season two, uh, do you want, would you want it to be more of an emotional journey for them, more of an action journey for them? I, I, here's the thing. This all began when we cast Dom Sherwood, okay? And then we filled out all the different roles. And just seeing what these actors were capable of doing with these characters has just given us so much energy to go deeper with all of the emotion, all of the triangulation, all of these things that have you waiting on bated breath for one episode to move into the next. And when you can protect yourself with great actors like what Isaiah's doing with the Luke character, what everybody's doing, it's very, very empowering to people sitting in Ed's chair to go deeper into every element of storytelling. The guys are physical, we can get into the action, that's easy. But the depth of character and the depth of emotion and their ability to land those emotional requests, that's what gives us our most power. That's what communicates to the fans. And that's why everybody's so excited about these individuals that play the characters we all love so much. So, you've showed us the, the werewolves, of course, the humans, the vampires. Are we going to be seeing other types of characters? Well, we've, uh, we've seen the Seelies, too. We've yeah. met the Seelies. And uh, there will be some really interesting demons coming to visit in Season 2. That I can promise you. There will be some really different and interesting demons. And yet, they have something to do dramatically in, in the show as well. Will all of our characters survive and make it? That no. Said? No. Ed and, I, Ed and I almost come to blows over this. Because I'm, I'm very, very into surprises and keeping everybody guessing. So no one is safe. No one is safe. Except for Lou. Except for Lou. 